Hi Libra, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. First of all, I really want to thank you guys for all of your love and support. You guys, support is what really helps me, helps my channel, grows my channel. And it's not just my channel, it's for all of us. I do these readings for you guys. So I do want to thank you. I love you all. Sending my love and all of my kisses. <laughs> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is going to be your sexcapade reading for november 2021 let's see what you guys have going on if you like this type of reading um let me know and i'll do more of them okay this is just volume one of your sexcapade chronicles okay this is for libra ancestors and spirit guides protect me as i go within the tarot keep me safe no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper return to sender any and all negativity ancestor guides and holy spirit of love, light, health, and wealth. Protect me. Show me clear on this message for Libra. 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 In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Libra, check out your messages from your ex reading. I also did a love reading for you guys as well. Check out your trick-or-treat messages. Okay. They may everything may or may not resonate with y'all. Y'all know I'm reading for whoever watches this reading. So just take what resonates. The whole storyline may not resonate. I just want to put that out there because I think people get confused and they're like, oh, this isn't my reading. It may not be for you type of Libra. It could be for the other Libra who's watching. But whatever resonates, just check that. If not, check your other placements or check back with me for these can be predictive, okay? Let's jump into your sexcapade chronicles for November 2021. Give me clear on this message just for Libra, please. Holy Spirit. Libra. Okay, Libra. Okay, what y'all got going on? Who y'all going towards or who's coming towards you? First card out, the Seven of Swords. An Aquarius. Someone sneaky. Someone you're in disconnect from with the Four of Cups. You decided to cut this person off. You did. Or this person cut you off. You could have been playing games. In and out. Oh, okay. When am I going to hear from Libra? Okay, we got the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. When am I going to hear from Libra? One minute I'm hearing from Libra. The next minute, Libra is MIA. Okay? We have seven, seven, and then we have eight, eight. So this is double. All right. Are you seeing multiple people? You're seeing two different people. Libra, you're seeing... uh. Two people and those two people just so happen to be friends or what or you have to choose between friends libra is out at a bar and there are two girlfriends sitting next to each other and libra is wondering who should i pick i like them both okay yep three of pentacles i like them both i want them all <laughs> you could be dealing with an aquarius aries leo sag taurus virgo capricorn we have air water earth and fire the high priestess pisces what you like i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep my cards close to my chest i'm gonna keep my cards close to my chest don't put your keys down okay don't put your keys down always put your keys in your purse or always put your keys in your pocket okay king of wands you want the fire sign okay oh or the king of pentacles you can't choose you can't choose two of wands i can't choose Okay, I'm going to knock them both down and then I'll leave them. That's what you said. I'll, I'm going I'm to try to knock both of them down and then I'm leaving. Okay, Libra. I was going to say Capricorn. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's going on for Libra? Two of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy, like I said. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. That's good. Okay, Queen of Wands. Okay, this is good. You go from not knowing, juggling, to making a decision, making an offer to a Queen of Wands. Someone who's beautiful, sexy. It's an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, feminine, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right? I said Capricorn, didn't I? I, I, I keep getting Capricorn energy. The Devil card. Clarify the Devil card. Are you gambling? You going to the casino? Clarify the devil card. You having a lot of sex. You like, okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have sex with them, 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 and then I'll decide who I want. 
Okay, I see the Queen of Wands does it for you. This Aries, Leo, or Sag Feminine does it for you. King of Pentacles. Okay, clarify the King of Pentacles. This could be you, Libra. I'm reading this as your energy. The Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're instead of waiting, I want to speak to this person. I want to go towards this person. That's the one I want to go towards. So I'm seeing you could be at an event. You could be, um, what is that? Speed dating? Like clock dating. You this is a this is a real event to where you you speed date a bunch of people and you finally choose that person. I want that person. I want to talk to that person. You can't wait to talk to them. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Four of Pentacles. You don't want to stop talking to them. Okay, this is your energy, Libra. You wanna you wanna talk to this person? You're like, yeah, I, I want them. I keep seeing the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You can have fire in your chart, or this is an Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For Libra, Sex Capade, November 2021. Seven of Swords came out again, and this was the first card out. Someone's lying, cheating, sneaking around, being um, very deceptive, aloof. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Libra. This is your energy as well swords energy okay we have the emperor and the tower this is aries scorpio energy clarify the emperor and the tower and then we have the hierophant and then we have the ace of cups someone is lying about being married it could be you or this speed data you're taking a leap of faith towards someone as soon as it um starts is as soon as it ends ten of swords you're like fuck you know like I wish you would have told me you're married and you're like, well, I already slept with you. I'm not finna stop. <laughs> you found out they're married after you slept with them. And you're like, damn, now I need to decide whether I want to keep fucking with this person. And you, I think you want to, honestly, you want to keep fucking with them. Or this is, this is what you did to them. See, Leo, you're trying to hold back, have the strength to hold back. You didn't tell someone that you were married and they're like, fuck, I already caught feelings for you. What am I supposed to do now? Or they're like, fuck, we already slept together. Like, why didn't you tell me you were married? And I think y'all still keep dealing with each other on the low. Okay, you have the emperor, the tower, and the hierophant. This could be your wife. Your wife sees this. Okay, queen of swords, five of swords. Yeah, your wife sees this. Okay, they're pissed. Or you see your wife doing this, you're pissed. All right. I get you're, get you're getting back at someone, Seven of Swords. This is all to get back at someone. Okay, a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This was a plan. You planned this. You planned, you planned this whole thing to get back at someone. Someone planned this whole thing to get back at you. Why? Nine of Wands. Okay. They think you deserve it with the Justice card, King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Also, there's money involved. Okay? This is all to get back at you or all to get back at someone. Five of Wands, the Justice card, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. Okay? Someone thinks you deserve it. Okay? You stop something. So, this is... this. Okay. This is not the type of reading I was trying to do. This is a married man who gets mad at their wife for saying you're not supposed to be cheating on me. They get mad at that shit. Like, okay. This may not be for all of you. Or someone is like, you know what? I don't want to be married to you no more. I just want to sleep around. If you're not going to let me sleep around, then let's just get a divorce. Someone wants to stay married, keep the ring, keep the title, so they don't have to do any child support or any type of, like, whatever. I think it's alimony or some shit. When people get divorced, you know, the husband has to give the wife half or the wife has to give the husband half. They don't want to do that, okay? They want to just stay married and be able to still sleep around. Okay, Aquarius energy, the star card. Let's get a different let's get some different energy for Libra. Okay, here you are. 
the star card. You want to make things right with an Aquarius. Sagittarius. Okay, there's someone new coming into your life. Yep. It's a Scorpio Sagittarius. Here's the Queen of Wands again. This person does it for you. It's an Aries, Leo, or Sag um, feminine. They do it for you. They're the Empress in your eyes, or this is your baby mom. You're making up with your baby mom. Yeah, the Empress, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups. All right? you. This person does it for you. Okay? You didn't mean to fall in love with this person, but you did. Okay? You can't, okay, you want to dominate this person. This person wants to dominate you. You don't know why you have these feelings towards this person. This overwhelming, obsessive feeling of wanting to dominate them and have control of this person. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Give me more messages for Libra. There's an Aquarius who's coming into your life or... Someone with Aquarius in their chart who, who will renew hope, renew hope and faith with you. Yeah, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. You falling in love with this person, this Aquarius or this Libra, this Queen of Wands. I keep seeing this Queen of Wands. Okay, this is the Empress. You're going to have children with this person. Okay, this is supposed to be just a sex to pay. This is long term. Like, this is something that you planned out, Libra. That part may not make sense for y'all in moving forward because this is supposed to be quick. I'm sorry, Libra. I can't go all the way deep in depth. I'm getting like 10,000 messages in one. Okay, this is why the whole... Do you see that card that jumped out? You fuck me better than them. This is the reason for the reading. The whole thing. You fuck me better than them. You're saying that or they're saying that. All the way from Aries to Pisces. What can you tell me for Libra? Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, Aries said, I love the way you moan. Okay, Aries also says, I'm obsessed. Okay, this Aries is obsessed. Are you obsessed over this Aries? You love the way this Aries moans. Taurus says, I obsess over you too. Everyone's obsessing. All right? I don't know what the hell you're doing, Libra. We saw the devil card. I don't know what type of magic or something you're doing. You have this all planned out for people to want you, obsess over you. Okay, Taurus said, my mouth waters when I think about you or when I think about us, when I think about our sex. Okay, Gemini said, do a split on my dick. Okay, Gemini said, I just want to fling. Cancer says, blowjob. You give the best blowjobs, Cancer gives the best blowjobs. Cancer also says, I think about fucking you all the time. Leo says, no one can get in the way of our connection. Okay, and I tempt you on purpose. That's what Leo said. Virgo says, can I sleep in it? All right, Virgo wants to sleep in it. Virgo could have Gemini in their chart. This is the magician right here. All right, they're manifesting a, this um this sexcapade with you. Okay, because Virgo could, Gemini could represent um the magician or the lovers. That's what, this is the energy that Virgo is in. Okay, can I sleep in it? And then they have Gemini in their chart. You have Gemini in your chart. Libra says perfect arch. If you're dealing with another Libra, you have a perfect arch or they have a perfect arch. And Libra says, I come fast when you say my name. Scorpio says, put your thumb in it. All right. And then Scorpio says, I'm digmatized and I'm sprung. All right. Sagittarius says, you make me feel like a man. You make me feel like a woman. Okay. So, who was that? Sagitt um, I think we all Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius said you have a magical pussy or you think Sagittarius has a magical pussy. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, Capricorn says I'm possessive over you. Capricorn says I got a speeding ticket um, dropping to you. I got a ticket speeding to you. Cap that was Capricorn. Aquarius says I love your smile. You have sexy teeth. Okay, Aquarius says, okay, Aquarius has a magical dick. Somebody got a magical dick. Somebody got a magical pussy. I don't know what y'all got going on. Okay, Pisces says, 
Okay, can you give me stomach kisses? They want to give you stomach kisses. Percy says, I hate when you leave. Okay, that's all I have for you. I'm sorry, you guys. These messages were supposed to be quick. I'll do another reading for you. And check out all your other readings that I have uploaded. Check the description box. Like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Book a personal with me. Donate to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Be safe. Happy Halloween.